We are in Santorini this morning. Uh, for Ant and I, it's both of our first time in Santorini, both of our first time anywhere in Greece, actually. And it's also another first. <laughs> Have a look out there. This is the first time we've ever been to a tender port. Now, a tender means the, the, the ship is unable to dock directly, um, and therefore it stops a little bit offshore, and they send out typically the ship's lifeboats. Uh, that take you over to the port. This is the very first port we've ever been to where the lifeboats are not being used as tender boats. These local boats are being used, which I think is kind of cool. And now I'm even more looking forward to going ashore. I know it was set in Spain, but I'm getting real feelings of... Do you remember that program, El Dorado? Of course, we used to watch it. <laughs> I'm getting El Dorado vibes. That's the other way. Okay. Let's go down here a little bit, because we've got a little bit of time. So tell me something interesting about that church, man. Um, I guess it's Greek. Orthodox. It's um, whitewashed with blue roof, which I think is standard for this part of the world. And it's got nice views. I'm not sure if you can go in. But it was stunning. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was really nice. The crowds are too much. <laughs> Right, so where, what is the name of this town? Boya. Boya. And um, what, so where it is on the islands of Santorini, mm -hmm. and uh, it's famous for what? Um, blue domed churches on top of cliffs. Okay. It is actually absolutely stunning. It is so beautiful. Um, very, it's almost stereotypically Greek. Like you think of Greece, you think of places like this. Yeah. Um, my big fat Greek wedding. I totally want to see the third one. Um, yeah, so it is really pretty. I have a complaint, and that is the fact that there are three cruise ships in port today. There's the um, Valiant Lady from Virgin. No, it's Resilient Lady. Resilient Lady, one of them. Um, and the... Um, and MSC the, uh, Musica. 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 And obviously uh, the Odyssey of the Seas. And because of that, the number of tourists here is extraordinarily high. And so these narrow roads are very difficult to walk through. I mean, the transfer was fine. I mean, I thought it was quite exciting going up the edges of the cliffs. I didn't. <laughs> and um, the views were spectacular. Um, it really was nice. And we're actually on the other side of the island um, to where the ships are docked right now. But um, yeah, so what's the plan? I don't really have a plan as such. Just want to kind of avoid the crowds as much as possible. It's very pretty, but at the same time, it's jam packed full of tourists and, you know, usual kind of story. These, these alleyways literally aren't wide enough for more than two people to walk abreast. And what you find is people just stop and start chatting. Yeah. Like right in the bottleneck and you're kind of trying to push past them or politely ask them to move. And it's just, you know, people, there are so many people who are, you know, so disrespectful of everybody else that they're quite happy just to stop and block everybody else up so they can have a chat. It's unbelievable, really. We um, actually found an alleyway to film this. Yeah, little yeah we've gone here. down the side of a shop just so we can film this. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs 
You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down You don't want anything to eat? No. That way I can have lots of Chinese. Amazing, thank you. We are sharing this one. The diet begins tomorrow. Are you eating that yourself? I married you, it doesn't mean I have to share the dessert. You can have the berries. <laughs> It's like coffee and ice cream blended. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be, but very nice. And this is the the the, fame, the Milfoy. Yeah, I would highly, highly recommend this. Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling down, the sky is falling down. So we just had some food in this little cafe and the name of it has a screen. I'm going to see something. I'll have to put, I'll put the name of it on the screen now because um, it was really, really good. We had the Milfoy, but it was not like the Milfoy in the way that we know Milfoy. It was very light, not too sweet. It was very lightly whipped cream, tons of um, phyllo pastry, but broken into kind of splinters rather than in sheets. And then it had the usual kind of nuts and berries but then at the bottom it had a layer of um, salty kind caramel. of salty caramel ice cream which was like yeah it's lovely really nice so and yeah really nice um, yeah, it's great service and uh the whole lot we came to like 34 euros which was a complete ripoff but what we were expecting yeah well exactly i was mentally prepared for that sort of price but very nice very nice yeah but we literally as glenn has been saying we have about 15 minutes to get back to the bus so we're off for yeah. for to go to our next destination on this excursion and I genuinely thought there was only one destination on this trip, but apparently there's two. You're not like the options. It's not like the options. So what are the options, Lynn? Um, Walk down 1,000 steps, off the cliffs on the side of a cliff face, or get a cable car. Neither of which are very appealing to me. Do you think they've got Uber? What, well, Uber a donkey? <laughs> I'll have an XL. <laughs> Uber donkey XL. Okay, it's absolute chaos just trying to get up this bloody hill. We're not going to hang about in the town. We've decided, well, apart from running, um, to go straight to the cable car <laughs> to avoid the queues. for the cable car I think and it's like queuing for a ride at Disney <laughs> this could be a while
How long would you say we've been in the queue now? About 45 minutes. Maybe 50 minutes. And we've got, according to Apple Maps, we are a two minute walk away from the cable car. If we weren't stopping for five minutes every three paces. It. And it is quite shocking the number of people who have been cutting into this line, which we have now been in for an hour. And it's kind of despicable, really, because a lot of people have waited, and other people just feel like they're entitled to just push in and go straight to the front. It doesn't work like that. This family who are using their kids as an excuse. I can see them about 20 people behind us, so they did manage to cut in. Not impressed. But we're inside. We're inside, we're gonna get on the cable car and get down to the jetty to get the tender back to the ship. Been worried about that all day. So how was it? Was it? It wasn't as bad. No, it wasn't. It's quite. Is only when you go through the connecting bits and it vibrates quite a lot. Other than that, it was uh, pretty. I thought it was quite exhilarating, and the views were beautiful. We're now gonna. There's that's the tender behind I us for Virgin. <laughs> Pardon? I don't think. Hopefully, our queue isn't as bad as that. Yeah, I just saw the the queue for the tender to go back to um, the Virgin ship is massive, and I was like, oh god from one queue straight into another. But hopefully the tendering will not be as bad, although it's always pretty crap going back, as we know. Oh, here we go, Odyssey of the Seas. Hello. Hey. Back to the ship. Going home, going home, Odyssey of Odyssey the Seas. Odyssey, Odyssey. Thank you, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This is moving a lot more than I thought it was. That's really getting myself upset about it. Oh. Yeah, that well, you know what? When somebody's scared of heights, or any irrational fear, um, if 
if you if you don't share that fear, you find it difficult to empathise with them. And like, well, what's the big deal? It's just a cable car. <laughs> <laughs> for me that was an hour well I think when we found out we had to come down by cable car come, kind of like two or three hours ago for the whole of that time I was then starting to worry about it and then as we got closer to the station it turned into panic and I was physically shaking as I was getting into the car but then once we were moving it was actually fine I faced backwards so I couldn't see obviously the full drop which was a good point um, but other than that, my advice is even if you're scared of heights, go for it. It's a way easy way to get up and down from the coast up to um, Fira. And Fira itself, other than the fact that we spent pretty much all of our time there, stood in a queue, uh, seemed very pretty. So um, yeah, thumbs up to Oya and Fira on Santorini. And thumbs down to Royal Caribbean for miss selling this excursion because they did say that the coach would bring you back to the tenderfoot. They didn't say that they would leave you up there because I think there was a woman who had had a panic attack in the station. So yeah, thumbs down to Royal Caribbean for that, but otherwise a good day. Do you know what else is exciting then? What? It's Chinese food, Chinese night in buffet tonight. Windjammer Chinese. Windjammer Chinese. Otherwise known as too much Chinese food. So we could not be bothered to get into yet another queue. So um, we've gone to Bolero's and I have this, which is a Havana special. And it's like a rum, pineapple, lime cocktail. It's not, I was gonna say it's not very strong, but then I had a right hit of alcohol. It's quite strong, but very nice. Very nice, very refreshing actually for, a, for some of those mainly spirits. But yeah, we're just gonna have a bit of a chill here before we go back to the room. So yeah, good day so far. Absolutely shattered. 7,000 steps, so can't complain about that. Okay, it's obviously not the evening of day, was that four? Four. Yeah, so we got back from our excursion. Now, I said earlier in the video that I had a few words. Let's talk about the excursion itself because that excursion was, um, advertised as having transportation back down to the tendering port. Well, uh, we think it did. Yeah, we were under the impression it did. And yeah. we weren't the only person to have that impression. So when we discovered that we had to get the cable car or walk down the, the 40 minute walk down the steps, um, there were a few people who were a little bit like, oh my God, so um, we were, I mean, it was fine for me because I wasn't afraid of heights or anything like that or the cable car, but Glenn, as you saw in that, in the, in the footage. Did you film me? Was a bit nervous. Well, well, you can watch it when it's on YouTube and you can see. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I think it was, in my I was under the impression that that wasn't going to be a problem. It turns out it was. Your thoughts, Glenn? I don't have anything to say really. Okay, anyway, so we got back to the room last night and we were absolutely shattered. We did go to the Windjammer and as you can see, we ate a little bit too much and we were just too tired to finish <laughs> off the video. We both had two main courses. You went up for dessert a couple of times. Yeah, we've actually had to move seats because we've been to the buffet so many times, people were starting to look. So we've shifted to a different part of the buffet to get dessert. Yeah. I mean, the food was really good, but it was just too much of it. So we ended up going to bed very early last night. We didn't even put the camera away. We just like dumped it on the side and we're like, good night. 
So that was day four, uh, and it was a great day. If you, I would highly recommend going to Santorini. Beautiful place, really, really picturesque. And um, yeah, loved it, loved every minute of it. Um, today, we have woken up in a new place. So get subscribed, and uh, you'll find out where that is. So thank you so much for watching to the end. Um, if you like the video, like it. And um, yeah, get, as I said, get subscribed. We've got loads more content coming to you from Odyssey of the Sea. So take care and stay safe. And my arm is killing me. Say goodbye, Glenn. Goodbye, Glenn. Ah.